Today we're talking about five tips to speed up your workflow in Final Cut Pro 10. Here we go. What is up my creative family? Thank you so much for coming back and watching another tutorial. Today we're talking about five tips to speed up your workflow in Final Cut Pro 10. But first, if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button for new videos weekly and more tutorials, more tips and tricks and gear reviews coming up. We're talking about how to speed up your workflow in Final Cut, specifically my five best tips for that. Number one, using the left and right bracket tool to trim down clips. Here's what I mean. In your timeline, when you find the clip you wanna trim, you can actually trim as it's playing back. So while the clip is playing back, you hit option, left bracket to close up the beginning of the clip. And if you wanna trim the end of the clip while it's playing, keep it playing, option, right bracket. That'll close up the end of the clip. You can also use this with command B to make a cut there and left bracket to close it up. You can also go back to the first clip and command right bracket to close that up. This is super helpful when editing interviews in the main timeline because it's magnetic, using the left and right brackets will just uh, make quick cuts and close up the extra spaces or quickly cut out that portion of the material. Tip number two, the range selection tool. This is actually a super powerful tool. The main reason I use this tool is to actually select specific ranges and just duck or raise the audio at certain points. Now I've turned off his audio just for the demonstration purposes, but let's say at this portion of the interview right here, um, you want the music to duck down so you can hear him better. So you'd click R, select the range right under the portion of audio you wanna hear and just grab it and dip it down. It'll create nice transitions up the front and back so that when you're playing it through, the audio just dips down right away. You can also use this tool to select the key points of where the fade happens and you can just adjust it forward and back or you can select all those points and move it along the timeline if the uh, main story changes and you need to adjust that. Very useful. Tip number three, using favorites for your rough cutting. Using favorites is a great way to drastically speed up your rough cutting workflow. Here's how you do it. In the event browser, skim over the portion of the clips that you want to uh, select. You can press the I and O buttons for in and out points. Hit the F button to favorite that and move it along. Once you're listening to it and you find the next point that you like, all the way to there, F to favorite, and that's it. You have two favorites, of the same clip. Now, if I change my view to favorites only, you can see that I have the same clip here, but the different portions that I favored. This is useful because I can then later go back and find um, the exact clips that I wanted. Now you can do this with B-roll to weed out all the, um, all the parts you don't need and just have all the sections of good B-roll. Now this tip works perfectly together with tip number four, which is keywords. So to do this, we're just gonna press Command K. That brings up your keyword editor and you can see I have uh, keywords in here from previous um, edits. You can delete these, you can add new ones, and then for the rest of the time, Command one through nine will be the shortcut to actually insert that keyword. So you can see here, I have a keyword of the camera I was using, which is A7S. And in there are these two favorite sections of that clip. But in general, it's gonna save you a lot of time by organizing your clips and having them in the right place so you can find them exactly when you need them. So that brings us to our last and final tip, which is the color grading shortcut. Tip number five, instead of selecting the clip and then clicking over to the color board, there's a much easier and more efficient way to do it. When you're on the clip, just hit Command-6. That'll bring up the color grading wheels or board, depending on how you set up. What I mean by that is you can actually change the default color board. So if you go up here to Preferences, Editing, Default Correction is Color Wheels. You can make color board, wheels, curves, or the hue saturation curves. So I'm gonna keep it on Color Wheels because I like that. Command-6 brings up the wheels. You can make your adjustments. Once you're done with that clip, the color wheels or the color board actually stays up still. So you can go over to the next clip and make your next adjustment. And just keep going through until your edit's done. So that's it for today, guys. I hope that helped. If it did, give that video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. There's new videos every week. If you're interested in any of the gear I use for vlogging or to create these videos, you can check that out. That's linked below. Thanks so much, and I'll see you in the next one.